Okay, first thing we'll do is to cut two types of paper templates in order to ensure that uh, all of our cut bottles will be uniform. First template is for the growing bottles and the second one is the cover of the reservoir bottle. The reservoir bottle itself does not need a template as it's very simple straight cut. For the growing bottle, place the template around the base of the bottle and mark around it for cutting. Make sure it's all the way down. This way. Do the same for the reservoir bottle cover. Start cutting the bottles with a utility knife. It's, um, and if you want, you can continue work uh, with the scissors. Here I'm cutting the reservoir bottle cover from the leftover from the growing for the reservoir bottle itself we'll be just cutting a straight line to take off the bottom of the bottle mark two dots on the reservoir bottle and the growing bottle and the upper part they have to be about half an inch from the top and half an inch apart for the co reservoir cover we need only one that will act as an axis. Now punch the holes with a one hole puncher. It's important to make sure that the holes are horizontal so that the bottles will uh, hang straight when we put them together. Okay, so for Moving to the next part for assembling, we need uh, to have eight growing bottles and two reservoir bottles and two covers. Now let's put them together. So in order to connect two growing bottles, place a zip tie through the two holes that we made and around the neck of the next one, the next bottle, which will be above it. Secure the zip tie, make sure it's the right direction. We repeat this till we have two columns of uh, four growing bottles each. Now we'll add the reservoir bottle at the bottom in the same uh, way. And uh, we'll cut off the, um, the ends of the zip ties just to make it nicer and punch another hole on the reservoir bottle uh, in order to connect the lid that we made with a little zip tie. We'll now uh, spray paint the um, outside of the bottle columns. Uh, this should be done either outside or in a well-ventilated room and make sure you're using a protective uh, mask. Uh, the reason that we're doing this is so the direct sunlight will not reach and harm the roots of the plants as well as to prevent growth of algae inside the bottles. Uh, spray paint the bottles in two thin layers, letting the first layer uh, dry before spraying the second. This is how the airlift system will finally look like. Take a good look and we'll start with the cap. So we drill a quarter of an inch uh, hole in the center of the bottle cap of the reservoir bottle 
Uh, don't lose the thin plastic on the inside of the cap as it helps you seal the, the cap and the reservoir. Now we'll put in the two-way uh, seven millimeter valve into the top of the cap. Uh, we'll have to use some force here. Um, you can use pliers, push it in, just make sure not to damage the valve so it hold, hold the pliers in the, in the middle of the valve and not on the edges and make sure it passes uh, all the way through to the inner plastic layer of the cap we will need here a two-way aquarium air pump 7mm black uh, PVC pipe, 7mm connectors and uh, four one-way valves and for doing this first we connect the one-way valve to the air pump to prevent water from uh, dripping into it and ruin it we can use here uh, hot water to soften the edges of the black pipe it will be easier for us to connect it to the one-way valve after like this Okay, to continue with the airflow, we'll cut a little longer uh, piece of pipe connected to the one-way uh, valve. And at the end of it, we'll connect a T-valve. There it will meet the water coming from the reservoir. We'll do the same connect connections to the um, to the cap of the water reservoir with the one-way valve, which its purpose is uh, not to allow any air to go up in the water reservoir, but to take the the droplet up to the the highest uh, growing bottle. You'll see. Now we'll do the same on uh, the other side for the second column. We'll hang the columns um, at least 12 inch apart. And uh, here I'm using uh, shelf brackets, but uh, any other solution that you have uh, will work. Just make sure it has some distance from the window. We locate the air pump that will be above the water reservoir bottles. Now we ha we'll hang the window from uh, bottle column with a small chain and S hooks to locate in uh, the desired position. We will need to punch a few more holes in the upper part of the bottle to hold the pipe in so it won't uh, drip outside. You can hold it with small zip ties. And another one at the lower bottle just to make it neat. Before planting, let's make sure the system is working well right. We'll fill up the water reservoir all the way up. Uh, hook in the pump to electricity and see if uh, water rises uh, up if not we'll give it a little help with the section so for planting we'll take a three and a half inch uh, plastic pot and we'll cut uh, strips uh, to make it kind of a hydroponic uh, net pot Make sure the strips are not too big for the media to fall out and you don't need to make so many, uh, five or six will be enough. So for planting, 
uh, we need to wash off all the dirt from the seedlings uh, we have and uh, according to the size of the root system we'll put uh, some hydroponic uh, media like hydrochon clay pellets or a volcanic rock and to make sure all the root system is well covered and the plant is ready to go give it a wash second wash under tap water make sure there is no dirt particles coming out and now we can put it inside our window frame The last thing we have to do is add some hydroponic fertilizer to the water reservoir. And that is all.